Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now, LinkedIn is probably one of the world's biggest social media platform with over 1 billion users. And what sets LinkedIn apart from other social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat is on LinkedIn, you will find a lot more professionals being on that platform with the reason to connect with other people, to find jobs and to build meaningful professional and business relationships. So as a student, it becomes really important for you to understand how to use this platform properly and how to network with seniors properly and even probably find mentors. One of the best features in LinkedIn, in my opinion, is the ability for you to filter down connections based on the university they studied at, their job position, location, industry. It makes it super easy for you to find the right person, right people that you want to connect with. Now, it's very important for me right away bust two biggest myths when it comes to LinkedIn, especially in the minds of students. Number one myth that I've heard a lot of students telling me is that they think LinkedIn is only for seniors. LinkedIn is only for people with work experience. And I want to bust this myth. It's not only for people who have had some sort of experience under their belt. LinkedIn is great for even students. Doesn't matter if you're just starting your bachelor's degree, your master's degree, even if you don't have much work ex experience, it's best place for you to start building that professional brand. How you can do it? Well, you can start highlighting your education, your volunteering experience, your extracurricular activities in the university. Think of these things as the post and almost like your resume that you're building by uploading all of this information on your LinkedIn. Myth number two, LinkedIn is only for job searching. Well, yes, of course, LinkedIn is world's probably one of the biggest job hunting portal, but it's much more than that. You can be using LinkedIn to not just find jobs, but to find people that have same career aspirations, same career goals, or maybe they are 10 years, a decade ahead of you in the role that you want to do. It's great for expanding your professional knowledge, your professional network by joining LinkedIn groups or through the various different courses LinkedIn has in the LinkedIn learning. So, so we have busted down these two myths. Let me tell you how you can optimize and get the most out of LinkedIn as a student. Starting off with make your profile if you already don't have one. So what are the things that you should be looking at to make sure your profile is good is do not have a very candid, unprofessional profile picture. It shouldn't be the same as you have on Instagram. My Instagram pic profile picture is probably me taking a selfie in very casual clothes. I do not want to have that same profile picture on my LinkedIn. My LinkedIn is a professional headshot. If you can't have a professional headshot, that's fine. You can wear something semi-formal if you don't want to do too formal, but make sure it's not too casual either. So start with the profile picture. It is the first thing people would notice when they come to your profile. The second thing they would notice is your headline. So in your headline, you can mention what you what you are passionate about, what, what you're studying is probably something that you can put there as well if you're a student, or what is your passion, what skills do you have? Or what you can do is look at some of the examples in the industry of how people have used that headline in, in a few short words, how did they position themselves? to get that idea of what you can put in your headline. Now let's talk about what you can add in the about section. About section is a bit more detailed version. Headline is quick summary. In the about section, you can do a little bit more information. So this is where you can tell and bring your personality out, talk about what you have done, almost think of it as an executive summary of who you are. Below that, you would notice that there is work experience that you can add, add any work experience that you have. Any relevant work experience should be going there, even your part-time job at a McDonald if you did that, add in there. You can add your education, what you're studying, of course, and then under that, you can add probably what courses, uh, what units that you're doing, which are relevant. Below that is also a great section, which is the volunteering path. If you have volunteered in any NGO, 
uh, or if you have volunteered in any capacity, do add that in your LinkedIn section as well. Cool. Point number two, understanding your industry and your niche better. As I mentioned before, LinkedIn is not just for finding jobs. It can help you find connections. How you can do it? Well, I believe if you go to the university that you studied at or you're studying, go to the profile page of the university under the people's section, you can type in the filters of the job position you're looking at. So for myself, I work in marketing. So I would write marketing specialist in the alumni section of University of Sydney. That'll show me all the people that are doing that particular job. And for me, it is easier to connect with an alumni of the same university that I'm studying at doing the same position that I want to study in. So you can filter it by the job position. You can filter in by the industry if you want to keep it broad. Now, you can use a template that you can send while connecting with somebody. As you know, LinkedIn only offers your limited free messages. So what you can do is if you click on those three dots, you can send a personalized invite. Now you can use this template that is on the screen. It will also be in the description below to in a very short few words, tell that person why you're connecting with them and also what you're seeking to get out of that connection. Now I do want to mention that be very strategic with who you are connecting with. Do not just add anyone and everyone. You want to be strategic in choosing the network properly again, like, it should be the people in your industry. It should be the people that you look up to. Those are the people you want to connect with. Do not just add any random person on your LinkedIn. Probably you might be doing that on your Instagram, but don't do it on your LinkedIn. Tip number three, as a student, what you can add, what can you post? Well, heaps of things. I'm sure you would be going out to these clubs and societies events, right? Like if you do marketing, again, taking example of what I studied, there is a marketing society in University of Sydney that throw a lot of events. They bring in panelists, they, they do upskilling workshops. As a student, I can write my reflections of the event that I went to. And those are the posts that you should be doing it. Pro tip, LinkedIn is pushing out video content. So I would actually encourage you to not just write content, but see if you can make videos reflecting on your experience going to an event, or it could be a unit that you studied and got really good marks or you loved that unit. You can share your experience there. If you go out for a coffee with somebody, a senior person, you can share what you learned from that conversation. So the possibilities are endless. You need to start just putting your opinions, putting your thoughts, putting your ideas, putting your work out there on LinkedIn. Tip number four, now, very, very important part and something that I'm trying to do better is you commenting and, and engaging with other people posts. This helps you get more visibility. So you can be going and commenting on some someone's post that you really loved. Genuinely engage with it. Just do not go like awesome work. Maybe a bit more specific comment would be better than just generic ones because with AI, everyone is putting out so many generic messages and comments. You want to stand aside. Genuine comments really help you to start showing up in more people's feed. And if people like what you have commented, it builds your professional brand. So there you go. These were my top networking tips for LinkedIn. I hope you got something out of it again. Make sure you check out the description where I've mentioned the template you can use while sending out an invite to somebody. I'll be making more videos on LinkedIn networking and networking communication skills, public speaking skills in my future videos. So I hope you stay around, hit that subscribe button so you do not miss any future videos. And guys, thank you so much for taking out time to watch this video. I cannot wait to see you in the next one.